Hello, my subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Today's chat is a personal story, a culinary discovery that's not just tasty, but also healthier, especially for those managing diabetes. You see, in my family, we love our spaghetti, with pasta being the star ingredient. However, with my mom being diabetic, I'm always seeking healthier alternatives. So when I discovered Zenda Pasta, I was intrigued and had this crucial question. Is Zen Pasta low carb? After all, maintaining control over carbohydrate intake is a key aspect for anyone managing diabetes. Zenda Pasta is quite innovative, breaking away from the traditional pasta mold. It's made from yellow peas, which already sparked my interest as it's a departure from the usual wheat or durum semolina. However, what truly stood out was its nutritional profile, as detailed on their website. It's a source of iron, important for our blood cells, high in potassium, which is crucial for nerve function and muscle control, and also gluten-free, which is great for individuals with celiac disease or gluten sensitivities. But there's more. Zenda pasta is also high in fiber, which promotes digestive health and helps with blood sugar control, a particularly important aspect for people with diabetes. It's also high in protein, which not only supports muscle growth and repair, but also contributes to a feeling of fullness, potentially aiding in weight management. It's also rich in phosphorus, vital for strong bones and teeth and playing a crucial role in energy metabolism. Now let's address the carb content. Zenbi pasta contains around 43 grams of carbohydrates per 85 grams serving of uncooked pasta. While this might not seem low carb, it's vital to remember that Zen pasta is made primarily from yellow peas, which are a source of complex carbohydrates. Now complex carbs are different from simple carbs as they take longer to digest and have a less significant impact on blood sugar levels. This makes Zen pasta a more suitable option for people with diabetes. What's more, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition noted that incorporating legumes such as yellow peas into one's diet can lead to improved glycemic control and reduced cardiovascular risk in individuals with type 2 diabetes. This suggests that the yellow peas in Zenba pasta could potentially have positive effects on blood sugar management and overall health. So what was our experience like when my mom and I decided to give Zen pasta a shot? Well, we didn't measure her blood sugar levels post-meal as it might not be entirely accurate due to other factors in the meal. But my mom noticed she felt full for a longer period thanks to the complex carbs in the pasta, and she didn't experience any of her usual high blood sugar symptoms, such as dizziness or blurred vision. So while Zen pasta may not be classified as low carb in the strictest sense, it's definitely a healthier option compared to regular white pasta. Its high fiber, protein, and nutrient content make Zen pasta a more nutritious and satisfying choice that could contribute to better overall health and diabetes management. Remember though, moderation is key, as with anything in our diets. If you're keen to read the full text of this podcast or want to explore more about my personal experiences and health-related discoveries, I invite you to follow the link in the description below. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, stay healthy and keep exploring the world of nutritious, delicious options.